Yeah. Coming back. Sounds 2.4. So speeding. And five, four, three. They do anything for clout. They do anything for clout. Oh my goodness, Terry. I thought last week couldn't be topped with Gail. Oh my God, yeah. And you know what? That Charles Barkley is too daggone vain because he just can't let nobody chase clout without him chasing clout. So he want to be the male version of Gail? Well. With an explanation. With his non-championship having ass. <laughs> Who's always got something to say about people who did win and who people who did get championships? He didn't get one, and he's forever being um, mocked about it. So I think he's overcompensating for what he's lacking. And I'm not just talking about lacking on the body. I'm just talking about lacking a championship. He's always talking smack in in areas in which he's not qualified to talk about. Why don't you stick to basketball? Matter of fact, I'm gonna follow up with Fox News and say, "Shut up and dribble, dude. Just shut up and dribble." But but you know what's so funny to me is that Shaq was sitting on the end and right. everybody else was sitting there and he said, we not trying to make Kobe no hero, but we're just trying to give him his NBA props. And nobody didn't say nothing like, oh no, he was, he, they was all looking like, mm, that part. Yeah, because did it was. Did you notice that? Yeah, yeah, I did. And it was so unnecessary for Charles to go into that act. I mean, I think somebody was whispering in his ear. But I think it was so unnecessary for Charles Barkley to go into that, to talk about the fact that, you know, we don't need to make Kobe Bryant a hero. Yeah, well, like, this is not the time. to go there. This is not the time to be trying to tear him down. This is not the Charles Barkley, shut your ass up. This ain't no time to be tearing down Kobe Bryant. He just got into the ground. We just going to memorialize him this weekend. Can we have a time where we could just memorialize Kobe Bryant? <laughs> Can we just pay homage to the Black Mamba without some knucklehead Uncle Tom Negro like Charles Barkley coming in and saying we don't need to turn him into a hero? Man, shut your ass up. Right. Like, where did that even come from? And then It was so unnecessary. The dude, the dude has not, he just got into the ground. Let him get settled into the ground first. He said the story must be told in totality. He used totality. But why? He don't why even know how to that? spell, he don't even know how to spell totality. <laughs> it didn't look like he was reading from a teleprompter. No, uh, no, he was going off the cuff. He's trying to get some points with, uh, with Gail King and Oprah and the rest of that crowd, <laughs> he's trying to get on their good side. He want to be on Gail and Oprah's couch. Yeah, he want to get he want to get some Gail. He want to get that sandwich was like Gail and, and Oprah got. He want he want to get into that crew. He he's, had to. He trying to get crewed up. There was no. Ne it was not necessary to hate on Kobe Bryant. We are memorializing him at the All Star Game this weekend in Chicago, and then he's gonna have his memorial, his ultimate public memorial on. November, I mean, I'm sorry, February 24th in downtown Los Angeles at the Staples Center. Then you can go in on his entire legacy and start saying we don't need to turn him into a hero. Matter of fact, you don't even need to say that. Just talk about his legacy. But to, but to, yeah, but to downgrade that. and degrade and to defame Kobe Bryant at this time when the dude has not been memorialized is so unnecessary. Miles Charles Barkley, why don't you go after Harvey Weinstein? <laughs> Right. Why don't you find Harvey Weinstein? If you want to talk about somebody who don't need to be made out to a hero, go after him. Go after Kirk Douglas, who was accused of raping a woman in 1954, and who has nothing but been uh, memorialized and uh, lionized and venerated by the public. Why don't you talk about that? Why don't you talk about C.K. Lewis? Why don't you talk about Kevin Spacey? <laughs> Charles Barkley, shut your ass up about Kobe Bryant for right now. Yeah, I didn't understand that, why he said you got to tell the whole story. Like... It wasn't no stories to be told. There First of all, they need to stop doing interviews about it. Right. You can't just say, like, everybody has said every respect that they could pay. I think they've covered it all. They've so covered it all. stop doing the interviews about it. Right. Stop sitting with groups of people and, like, just stop. Or do it off camera. Well, the just do it off camera. Yeah, like, do it, it amongst your peers. Right. Don't. That's the cloud chasing part. When you sit... And you got to have it televised, right? you know, and you got to have all these people like, I kind of felt like they was backing him the way everybody was just sitting there, not saying anything, make sure I guess that was all silent. Yeah, and the thing about it is that, uh, yeah, that I, 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 think, I think he's trying to win some endorsement, he's trying to win some points, he's trying to get a sandwich. First of all, Charles Barkley don't need to eat no more sandwiches. <laughs> 
<laughs> okay, that's first of all. So he did but, look a little slimmer. Oh, did he? Yeah. Oh, okay. Looked like his head wasn't as swollen as he usually is. Maybe he's trying to get his head back swole. Oh, well, I guess so. Or maybe he's still trying to win a championship uh, that he didn't get during his playing days. But we ain't going to go into that right now. Charles Barkley just need to shut the hell up when it comes to... It's blasphemy right now. It's, it, like maybe Steve, he wanted to just get on our cloud chaser list. Maybe, but he got on it. Okay, he, he got successfully on got it. on. He successfully got on. On it. JoJo and these streets and Terry Shropshire's list of uh, uh, anything Do for clout. Doing anything for clout. Doing anything for clout. Anything. I mean, I just don't understand the reasoning behind that when everybody has already covered it. First of all, it is not wrong to bring up the entire legacy, but to stay, but to pause the entire show and yeah. say, let's not make him a hero. What are you talking about, Charles Barkley? Yeah, like, he is a hero. To make him a hero. He is a hero. Ain't nobody trying to make him a hero. Make him a hero. Basically, he was saying we're giving him his basketball skills due, but that's it. Like he is nobody's hero. It was unnecessary. It didn't need to be said. Uh, wow. That, that, it, it did not need to be said that Mammy Gail King has already Ooh, downgraded. Mammy. Uh, yeah, da, yeah. Uh, Mammy Gail King and Oprah have already uh, degraded Kobe Bryant enough. Now let's um, bounce it, back to the women. Yeah, well, Wendy which, Williams. Now, I think that what had happened was that one of them hairdressers had got into Wendy's wardrobe. They must have put on some of her Ivy Park collection. Yeah, what is this with Wendy Williams? Because <laughs> she came from? out there and was like, "Look, she just like she. It was personal. It was personal. And why I'm saying that is because she was like, "Y'all don't need to be wearing our heels." First of all, the average man that I know can't wear my shoes. But since Wendy's pushing 14, the men's size. Damn, is, Wendy is pushing a four, size 14 I foot? I think that's what size she Oh, wears. you talking about Wendell? Wendell <laughs> Williams? So that's why I think she might have went in her dressing room and they was in there trying on her shoes. And her she heels, lost it. And her Ivy Park and that she, she just got from Beyonce. And she came out there like, what? And they was probably talking about, ooh, can I borrow this for Valentine's Day? And she was like, this is for the girls, the real girls. Like, she broke it down right. as far as the menstrual. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. As yeah. Far as they tell don't have no menstrual cycles. Y'all cannot be real women. <laughs> She well, said, I am offended. Right. Why is she offended? Why are you offended? She was <laughs> you usually champion uh, homosexuals. And that is and, her core audience. That's right. And that's her core use. audience. And, and most people think that she looks like a homosexual. Like she Ooh. looks like. She, and they were all canceling her. She looks like her. a man. One by one, they were canceling her like, we was enjoying your little show up until now. Right. Won't be watching no more. Right. And then she, the next day, I, I saw the comments. Right. And I... I didn't mean to hurt anyone. Like, man, come on, girl, man. bye. Right, bye, Felicia. Bye, girl. Bye, Felicia. <laughs> I don't know, Wendy. I don't know. I, I do think that when you said that, because you might have been talking about a group of people that you had a conversation with, it sounded like a carryover conversation that she wanted to be like. And another thing. Y'all, what y'all need to do? No, that's a good know, point. It sounded no, that, like that, that. That's a good point. I think but she, she had... didn't think like you got. Six million people looking at you every day, and the ones online, and they all was coming for her. Yeah, I think that, I think you're right. I think Next she had a conversation. Next, Billy Porter I think on she her had, show within she, seven days. I think she had a okay. uh, conversation backstage uh, in the in the living room uh, with her wine, and I think she got <laughs> drunk, and she was still drunk when she went on the show. And mad. And then she went off on. They must have very, broke one of her heels. They must have broke one of her heels. They must have stained one of her dresses. <laughs> uh, they must have busted the balloon uh, that she calls breast. She must have, I don't know what happened. I don't know. They, I mean, they poked a hole in, the, in that chest because you, them, them things don't even look real. Look, look, she, 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 her body is built like olive oil from, from the Popeye cartoons. Well, you know, and then you got these big balloons sitting up in there. They don't look real. They look like they're inflated 50 tires. Cent was calling her the letter P for the longest. <laughs> and now they done made up. Yeah. So now that she got 50 back in her, oh, you going to go for the, to come for the games? They, they worse. <laughs> They worse than 50 Cent. You think 50 Cent is petty? Right. Come on now. Don't go after. Don't do that. Don't yeah, do don't that. don't do that. Don't bite the hand that feeds you. Don't go after the audience that is paying your bills. Especially Norman, her sidekick on the show. Oh, he's gay, is he? Yes, I think oh. so. Okay, yes. I, I don't watch the show enough to, to, to so understand. So Norman was, they didn't even put the camera on Norman when she was saying that. Mm. She might have been talking to Norman. Mm. 
You know what? I gotta rewind oh, that. Oh yeah, see. he might have been in his stuff. Might not have been. Yeah. I mean, no, no, no. He wasn't in. No, no. He wasn't in. Right. He wasn't in her stuff. <laughs> he might have been in her closet, but not in her stuff. So uh, anyway, let's. I, I want you want to clarify that because he don't. He don't even like that kind of stuff. But oh. uh, no, I mean, he somebody don't. messed up one of her dresses, and that's all I know. And she just went off. She went the hell off. So, I was gonna say congratulations is in order for singer Maya. Because it was oh, did all hear the Maya? news that Maya got married. Mar Maya got married. Finally. Ma after the Chili's girl trip. I mean, no. Lil' Kim's girl trip. Which her and Chili and everything right, on VH1. Right. And Maya, you know, if you don't know who Maya is, she's the one with that pow in the back. You know what I'm saying? She's a thin girl. Her little and self, that, she ain't got and no and pow. She, she might do? have a ping. No, 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 Maya got a pow back she there. She might have a ping. Mm -mm. But she ain't got and no she proud and she proud of her little she's proud of her bubble and you know what I'm happy for her bubble. Did you I'm, see I'm her wedding dress? I'm happy that she's proud of her bubble, huh? Did you see her wedding dress? No, I didn't see her wedding dress. So she posted it on Instagram. We were all excited. She went to Africa somewhere and got married, and then it broke out on Instagram that she got married to herself. So it's fake. She married herself. Because she said oh, that she God. is the only one who's never going to let her down and who is not going to break oh, that's her foul. heart. You know what? That's foul. But you know what, Maya? I'll marry that. Pow! I'll marry you. No, you know what I'm saying? No, she said you because the people like you uh -huh. with all that pow stuff, that's why she don't trust y'all. What are you talking about? I, not I love all of her. There's a lot of intelligence she's back there. She's not a piece There's of a lot of intelligence no in that pow back, back there. there. You know what I'm saying? Because she's a thin girl and then you look and then there's this big, like, She's question not mark, piece of me. question mark behind it, and all that intelligence and all that oh, skill. Oh, but when Wendy put her question mark up top, it was a problem. Now when Maya put her question mark in the back, no, because that's, it's, it's, no, it's still the letter P no, upside down. Right, it's, it's the question letter. Question mark but, is okay, the letter here, P upside but, down. But allow me to defend myself because with with Maya's pow, that is um real. Where Wendell Wendell, Wendell Williams, <laughs> his is. Not real. It's uh, an inflated flat. It's an inflated tire up top, Ooh. and she looks like. How you know? Maya had had a little injection or two. You don't know that. Well, I need to go check. You might need to I, go I, check. I need to go check. You know what I'm saying? So I, I, I'll go check well, it out. She was in town trying to do an interview with y'all. Really? Yeah. With who? With Rolling Out? Yeah. With every anybody. Ooh. When was she in town? <laughs> with anybody that was gone. They was calling me every day. I wish I had. A oh, room. Pat said no. Who? Oh, to Maya coming to the office. You know what? I can't, I can't go there right now. I can't go there right now. <laughs> I can't. That was like, what has she done lately? And we talked to her, and she didn't get. What has hits. Maya done lately? Audience, my, my audience, <laughs> uh, our audience out there, oh, come on now. I She's some, you know We had somebody that said Maya oh, ain't done nothing lately. We're not gonna do no story on her. Okay. I would have loved to have covered her. I mean, uh, wrote about her. They I would have loved to have wrote no about her. You they know said what I'm saying? She didn't have enough traffic. Oh man! So she must not be stopping driving. Uh, she, she, well, well, you know what? I I just know she yeah. So just, let, just like just like Deshaun Kennedy said, she got that action, bro. Well, she, she went got that to action. Africa she got by that herself. She got that pile. Something must be wrong with something. I don't know. And she got that pile. She got that pile. And the brother and, and, and the brother and the brother the brothers on there back me up on that. She got that pile. You know what I'm saying? Like Eddie Murphy said in Rock. I and know Raw, we love pow! Maya, right? Huh? I mean, like somebody, somebody, like, yes, in the, in, somebody in the somebody in the journalist circles in Atlanta said that Maya really ain't Jack no more. Somebody yeah, actually said that. Do y'all agree with that? Well, I mean, that is that that is what Stephen A. Smith said is blasphemy. How can you say that? About oh, Maya. My Stephen A. Smith. That's a whole nother story. He was. I mean, he was. He was doing anything for Cloud you all know what? weekend. I do pride her for not getting pregnant by Future. Oh, uh, Maya. <laughs> Maya. Yeah, for not joining the harem. She 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 laid down with. No, she I said I, I pride her for not oh. going there. Oh, for not going there yeah. in the first place. Okay. Yeah. Okay, it was about to hurt my feelings. But I do think the fact my... that she didn't, because like, he... she let us on with mm -hmm. this whole reveal, like, um, my got married, my got married, she went out of town, blah, blah, blah. It do sound like something they would say, right? That part. Yeah. Um, And then we're looking, and then we see the dress, and then we find out she didn't marry her 
darn self. Well, then I got a shot. You know what? I'm about to marry myself. I bet you by the end of this year, that's the thing. All these women are going to start marrying themselves. Yeah, well, you know what? At least I got a shot. I mean, you know, I'm sorry, Janet. Uh, Janet Jackson, listen, you've been my boo. You've been since, cheating since, on everybody since, since, since good times. You've been my boo since good, since good times. But if Maya comes back to Atlanta and I got a shot, what about I, I got I got I got I got to make that play. What I'm going to make that play. Janet, please forgive me. You always going to be my boo, but Maya is about that. She got that work. She got that work, and I'm going to have to make my play. Yes, yeah, she got that work. Speaking of getting that work. Oh, um, well, you know what, Future work. Future got too much work. Well, on Instagram, did you see all the roses that he had? It was so beautiful. For which for which baby mama? He got, about 30. He got about 30? Oops. Oh! It was for Lori Harvey. He, his next baby mama. And he put, and then she was in her red sweatsuit, and he said, my baby is gangster, and she cooked on Valentine's Day. Really? Damn, he must have put... If he cooked for her on Valentine's no, Day. No, she cooked for That's him. what I'm saying. If she cooked for him on Valentine's Day, that means he must have put that work in. Well, he must have put that he work put some in. Of, and I heard that he, you know, from the streets be talking. They said well, that he. My, I mean, Lori put that work in, too, when she hit him with the old one, too. Yeah, what was Lori Harvey thinking about fighting carjackers? Did y'all see? Did y'all see the video? She actually was going to fight. She actually tried to fight the carjackers. Are you crazy, Lori? So. By yourself. Lori Harvey was a video, and the video was like, I guess, in the apartment complex. You yeah. said it was an upscale complex in Atlanta, Georgia. So it had to be Buckhead because yes. she wouldn't come down to our side of town. But she's she telling you, Buckhead, with us. don't you know people get shot in the parking lots? It's Lenox Mall. Yeah. Why are you over there fighting in the parking lot, girl? Why was she and fighting? And somebody them? stole a car um, on How Mill, and the guy chased them, and they got shot in the stomach. Yeah, they got shot. I remember so, that. I remember that. But wait a minute. They said, if you look at the video, she's running in, and then she's blam, 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 going for the guy's head. She got her thumbs up and everything. So she said she realized her she, car fob. I she mean, the fob to get in the building right. was on the key ring. Right. So you went in there and fought this burglar, not for your car, but to get your keys so you could get the fob. Oh. And she just have went to the leasing office and got a fob. If a man is out there, like... Well, so people are saying that she did that for Cloud, and they're saying it was fake. Because well, then she walked off. Did you see yeah, how yeah. she skipped off? Like did she y'all see, run off. Did y'all, see see the, like, did y'all see the video of Lori Harvey walking off? I mean, did y'all see that? She was fighting a dude, and then all of a sudden, she just walked away as if she was taking a stroll in the park. Like, listen, the dude could have had a gun. You should be bobbing and weaving and she diving under cars. without the keys. And, and then she got the fob, and she just chilly. She just <laughs> strolled off like she was uh, on the beach or something. She didn't yeah. run away. She didn't uh, look behind her. She just walked away, and she, she was just chilling like she was on a cell phone. Like Lori Harvey, <laughs> run away! <laughs> Right away, uh, Lori Harvey. Right now, you too, you too valuable. Uh, my future was upstairs, and he probably got guards and stuff. You, you are too valuable right now, Lori Harvey, because right now, uh, well, er, everybody, check, everybody checking for you. What, and how, but she, is she, she got, valuable? Yeah, yeah, she ain't got that power though. She ain't got that power. So she, you know, future can have her because she ain't got that power like Maya do. But she, she's a beautiful woman. No, she's I, a beautiful. I see power. I mean, I, I, I didn't say she was. I didn't say she was a scrub. I didn't say that. Well, you know what? Looking at that. Um, yeah. I'm okay, like, what are you talking about? Well, see, yeah. Lori. L L listen, Lori. Um, this is uh, Terry Strong. <laughs> uh oh, now I'm, you I'm, about to cheat yeah, on my. Uh, no, no. I'm about to holler at you because yeah, right, right now, Future already got enough kids. He got about 30 <laughs> kids with 50 mothers, and he got too much child support. So you want to start fresh and start anew, holler at your boy. But you know let me what I'm tell you what was whack. Okay, what was whack? So the last, no, the eighth baby mama. Okay, the last... Well, how many kids do we got? Let's get that established. It's eight. But how many it's mothers? It's nine. It's how? eight and the possible. Okay, eight and the possible. Okay. Oh, so, that's right. He's being sued by another baby mother. So the eight. last four girls were all pregnant at the same time, allegedly. Damn, what was he, what was he doing? I don't know. What was he doing? Did he have them all in the same hotel? They might have been. And going from room to room? the same hotel. Who knows? Who knows? How do you have four women pregnant at the same time? The one I girl actually never heard of that. Know for like two years. She's a bartender in Miami. They met at the bar, and she said they actually been um, having relations for the last couple of years. So relations. That don't what, act is like. Is that what we call it now? Relations? It's our relations. We, we're not just saying sex. <laughs> 
We're not just no, saying, it's called relations. We're not calling the smack of the skins. <laughs> we calling it relations now. Is that what we calling it? So she said, uh, I am not just some jump off. You know, she was going off of the people. Well, yeah, he did. Yeah. He jumped off of you and jumped into another girl who jumped off of her, him and then went into it. What are you talking about? You ain't no jump off. So that is the definition of a jump off. For the first four months after she had the baby, they were cool. And then... No phone calls, no support, no nothing. So she said she was forced to go to court. Forced. So he said to the judge when he went back to court that he wanted them to take into consideration how much the baby needed a uh -huh. month without and minus the extravagant trips that he takes right. the money that he's spending on Instagram and all of the money he spends on clothes like minus all of that, minus out all that. and focus on baby whatever his name is that baby and what he needs to pay he said that's what his child support should be based on not according so what you're saying is not according to your salary or your excess money I don't know. Okay, this girl but, is getting nothing, though. He yeah, said it ain't his baby. Right. It's her and the government's baby. Okay, that but, was the low blow right there. Okay, but here's the thing right now, because he, he's being sued by two more women. So he already got so many babies uh, by so many women. He's got two more women that's suing him, but he refuses to take the DNA test to do, so that he can confirm that he's not the father. That leads me to believe that he is the oh, father. Oh, so what the two girls did, they got together. And had a DNA test. For the babies. Which proves that they are related. And the baby you know how they can be related? <laughs> you know how they can be related? They can't be related unless they have a common man who impregnated both of them. And they guess who together. that might be? And swab them babies. And, and swab sisters. them babies. And they were, they were proven to be 99% related. And you can't now, do be... Do you think more women should you get can, together and do this? Like, get together and unite, like, girl, and they could compare notes, and, you know, it really can help you understand the man you're dealing with. Well, I, they're men physically, but, you know, they're cowards if you're not taking care of your child. Well, I, Come on, children are supposed to be a blessing. Yeah. You no, know, it's not for them to struggle because of how they got here, because y'all wanted to be trifling. Well, I mean, yeah, and the thing about it is that, just like in the case with uh, that football player, and, and, and the oh, audience. Antonio Brown? No, Wait a no. minute, we have to take him off the call chaser list because he did issue an apology. No, 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 we don't take him off the list. Antonio Brown is clout chasing, <laughs> and he's he's clout chasing reverse. He's hustling backwards. <laughs> what happened is that Antonio Brown is now apologizing. He's on an apology tour. But just like he you are, is, just baby, like you, just like, just, just like, just like you uh, baby, have, have a national music tour, Antonio yeah, Brown is on a is on a ridiculous apology tour because he saw that the entire NFL turned his back on him. Oh, and his oh, he's still not and, back in the NFL. No, he's his ridiculous ass is apologizing to people. No, he's not talk in the NFL. To people now, Terry. He is, Don't forget to talk to the people. Okay, his, yeah, he's ridiculous. His ridiculous ass is uh, trying to get back in the NFL. So he's apologizing first to the NFL for his behavior. Duh. Now he's apologized to the Pittsburgh Steelers, who he uh, had a loud and angry and uh, very, I don't know, volatile divorce from. Now he's trying to apologize to the quarterback who made him one of the most, one of the greatest receivers in NFL history, Ben Roethlisberger. Yes, the same bathroom Ben. Yeah, I know about that bathroom Ben, but still, that was in the past. Just like with, um, with Kobe Bryant, it was in the past. So anyway, your boy, Antonio Brown went to bed with Roethlisberger and tried to apologize. But, wow. but all of a sudden, this month, he's apologizing to everybody that he just trashed last month and last year. <laughs> so do you think that this uh, apology is something that is sincere? I think it's sincere. Do, wh what makes you think it's sincere? I'm feeling it's sincere. What? Yeah. Why? Because he, apolog he didn't have to apologize. Okay, no, 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 he, no, he starved, but he wants them checks. See, Antonio Brown was used to those glamorous sandwiches, so he want to eat again. He wants some sandwiches, and when you stop, when you starving, you will do what it takes, just like Snoop Dogg. When Ooh. Snoop Dogg, Snoop Dogg apologized because the sponsor was coming after them checks, you know, and they said if you don't he apologize, said his mama made him. I'm like, well, mama his, Martha Stewart. Well, mama Martha Stewart, mama. Oh, ooh. Because ooh, she said, "Mama Martha Stewart." <laughs> Within days, Snoop, they Snoop, said it. Snoop, the Tostitos commercial came out. Snoop Dogg. The Tostitos right, commercial. Right, we saw it. We saw it. Five Snoop. seconds after hold he apologized. Hold, hold, hold on, Snoop, Snoop, Snoop. Your girl, Jonelle. Jojo in these streets. Jonelle said that your real mama is Martha Stewart. <laughs> 
She said your real mama. I ain't mad mama. at you. His real mama might be, uh, ain't they about to put Rosa Parks on the $2 bill? Well, yeah. But that, okay, that's but his real daddy is Benjamin Franklin. Ooh. So he not crazy. No, no, he not I crazy. I ain't mad at Snoop. No, no, I, I ain't mad at Snoop. You can't be I, stopping your bag over Gail. Right, and, but I know that you that already got your, but, um, but what do you call her? A funky dog here? Ooh. You but, already got that out. So once you say it, you can't take it back. It's on all the blocks. Well, here's the thing. So even if he apologized, Everybody ain't deleting the post. Well, I don't think the apology nor the acceptance of the apology were, were legitimate. Wait a I, minute. I what think was that, her I think, acceptance? It, what? It was a statement from somebody? Well, yeah. I mean, yeah. it was a representative of Gail King who... who but uh, she wrote, didn't have a representative she wrote get on live and, she, and say what she said. She wrote the statement and said that she apologized, that she accepts the apology from Snoop Dogg and that we all... Ha you know, we make she mistakes. She should apologize in the same form that she spit what? them in them out. She should go in that same method and that keep that same momentum up and get on her live. And we want to hear. We want to see the look in her eyes well, to see if it's sincere. Because anybody from her camp could have wrote that. Because she could have been like, I ain't apologizing. I ain't say, apologizing for Jack. And then they were like, no, Gail, you know, we got to do this. Because Gail said... I feel like it was a great interview. You don't go from thinking it was a great interview to I'm sorry. And then she was like, no, uh, I understand Snoop no. about, you know, sometimes the raw emotions come out. No, it was like, what? No. Like, she didn't have to accept his apology. It wasn't given for her to accept. It was given so that that check could be cut for the Tostitos commercials and so they don't can remain on VH1 right. and don't go to bounce. Well, I mean, it was just a it was just a bad look for him to be calling Gail out of her name and then simultaneously working with another grand grandmotherly woman named uh, Martha Stewart. It just it was, it was also just a, a felon. It, it was just well, yeah, and it, it was it was just I didn't have to do that. But it was just a bad look, and so I just believe felon that, I, I, felon. I, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold Okay, I just I just believe that it was sincere and that he did have a talk with his mother, but I also think that he was motivated by them checks and the sponsors to his and the sponsors to his show um, with Martha Stewart. So I think it was both. I think he I think it was sincere. I don't think the apology from Gail King was sincere. She could have went on air. She could have went on her own Instagram, the same Instagram that she used to try to explain herself for digging into Kobe's past with uh, and keep uh, digging into it needlessly. She could have used that same Instagram and said, yes, I accept Snoop's apology. Mm -hmm. The fact that she got a representative to write a statement means it's not really that sincere. Yeah. So, Gail, miss me. Bye, Felicia. Yeah, miss us with that. Yeah. Oh, we got to give a shout out to uh, to our boy, our bad, our boys. The bad boys, because they broke the record for box office numbers. Um, they broke the record twice. First, they, they broke, broke it twice? Internationally? Yeah. Well, well, no, no. We're here. They broke the record for Martin Luther King Jr. weekend in January for the greatest uh, debut opening on um, Martin Luther King Jr. weekend. And then they also broke the record for having the highest uh, grossing movie uh, in the month of January. So they That's broke. Dope. Yeah, so they broke two, two records. So shout outs to my boys uh, from Bad Boys, uh, Will Smith and Martin Lawrence. And uh, so, you know what I'm saying? Just, you know, just a little shout out. And, uh, you know what I'm saying, the rest of the people. I hope a lot of our people actually buy movie tickets. Because you know we don't buy movie tickets. W what do we do? We we just go in there. We don't bootleg, do we? Do we do that? Mm. Oh, okay. Well, you know, I'm just... The record show. Yeah, no, Let the record reflect. Okay. <laughs> well, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, but, yeah. So, yeah. Shout out to our, our peoples over there. You know what I'm saying? Um, I don't know. But I, I, I'm a little bit disturbed. The next one on the, on the list of uh, doing anything for clout is your boy, Israel Clary. Your boy. I mean, your girl. I'm sorry. I was, wow. No, 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 no. She, she don't look like a boy. I was just thinking about R. Kelly. And uh, he's been... He's been <laughs> look, we used to have R. He, Kelly. She didn't move R. Kelly's name off the list, Gail. He was our first subject of everything. Yeah, for, uh, every Was show. Every show, we was talking about R. Kelly. Well, he has got a new bell um, hearing. They did give him one. But then there's a brand new case that just popped out with another minor. Well, yeah. I think Azrael is dropping a dime on everybody because now she's working with the feds. She went from doing that whole thing with Gail. <laughs> Gail had them all acting a fool. The girls No, she, and, made him, she made him look like a fool. She but made, wait a minute. And she allowed R. Kelly to stand. Now, Gail could see R. Kelly 
from where she was sitting. Maybe she couldn't motion in those girls and coercing their comments because we can see the shadows of it in the background. So how could she not see when they edit it? Right. So you never said, oh, the girls were probably lying. Never. Just anything to make R. Kelly look worse than he was already looking. Mm -hmm. So now Azrael Clary is working with the feds after she laid her hands on old girl when she tried to go get her stuff. Yeah. Um, yeah. But Azrael, I hope you really done with R. Kelly and you're not like, I'm not popular no more. And sometimes these young girls get well, so what, excited what, they're on Instagram. Yeah, and, and, and I'm happy that she, I mean she's uh she's rehabilitating her life. Yeah. And then she's turning her life around. But she's she getting the job. Though. But the problem is, is the fact that uh, I I just I don't understand the parents that fed these uh, fed uh, the children to R. Kelly. If it happens to be true, he hasn't been convicted. But you know, I just have my suspicions about um, you know whether R. Kelly is guilty or not. But I just think that you somebody, have your suspicions. I have my suspicions about these parents uh -huh. that I believe fed them um, oh, yeah, of to course. R. Kelly, uh, stu uh, dating all the way back uh, to Aaliyah's parents. And I just want—I just want to hear what they have to say. I wish that they could be subjected to public scrutiny so that they and, and interrogation so that they could explain how they kept feeding their children, underage children, to a man. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. They kept feeding. Parent after parent after parent kept feeding their children to a man who long had a reputation for under... That night, she could have said anything to me. Well, <laughs> she could have said anything. It's about that time. Oh, it's time man. to vote. Oh, we got to vote it's on... It's time to vote. Okay, who's your... who? Uh, so, will it be Wendy Williams? Lori Harvey? Uh, mine is Charles Barkley. Charles Barkley. I got Charles Barkley. Yeah, we had you last week. Girl. Okay, so what, we're not gonna even tell the people what we're voting on. You. We're tell voting on who is the biggest child's blah, blah, blah. who is the biggest clout chaser of the week. And my vote is Charles Barkley. Gail took it last week, and we're not gonna give her the satisfaction of getting it two weeks in a row. Although you probably are cloud chaser of the month, Gail. Yes, she is. Of the month. She's a cloud chaser of, of the, the year. century. Of the year so far. Yeah. She's 2020, a this is going to go down yeah. in the history books of bad interviews. Yes, yes. Interview and, gone wrong. Yeah, so Gail King is a cloud chaser of the, of the year so far. And let us reiterate, please. It was wrong for Snoop to call her out her name and threaten her. But she was wrong for continually digging in Kobe Bryant's it was she did her job for asking the question and raising the question about his past, but she kept digging into it. And that's where she was wrong. You know what? And she feel like I feel like she was trying to win another Emmy like she did with that famous Emmy that she won with R. Kelly. So shame on you, uh, uh, Gail King. I, you are I, the cop chaser of the, of the year. I saw these two girls. And the one girl was wishing her girlfriend a happy birthday. And she was like, one time for the birthday, bitch. One time for the birthday. And I was like, so if the women are like, like the girl was like doing all of this to what she was calling her. Uh -huh. And funky dog hair. B. Kind of fit. You know what I mean? I mean, it's just a bad look for a grown uh, middle aged man. Who's 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 a, has alleged gang ties? So his calling, son, oh, we got his son out, Cordell to be, to, be, to be calling his mother, I mean, to be calling a grandmotherly woman a dog hair B. Oh, okay, 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 okay. That's a bad look. Okay. Like you gangster, you gonna call a woman a B? That's a bad look for Snoop. It really is. Well, it's a lot of other worse things he could have called her being for. Yeah, a former could. member of NWA signed the Death Row Records. Right, uh, dealing with Shit Knight. Right, mean, right. He could have called it. That I mean, was a really compliment. I bet, I, hey, I, hey, I bet he, I bet he never called Shit <laughs> Knight a B. I bet he never called Shit Knight a B. Uh, he probably did, which is why he had. Remember, he moved to Master P. Um, to New Orleans with Master P for ooh, a minute. Ooh, so you saying Suge Knight punked him down? You saying Suge Knight? I'm is that saying, saying that that was Snoop, a bounty on me. that head. And Snoop, he that ain't, Snoop, that ain't me. It, it's you know what facts. I'm saying? Okay, okay. So he might have caught him. Okay. But, um, Snoop, that wasn't me, bro. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I critique you, you and say you're wrong, but I ain't going to say nobody punked you and made you move, no, move I, to another coast. Oh. I ain't going to say that. I ain't saying Suge punked him. Oh, okay. Yeah. But ooh, ooh. he was next in line. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so, so my vote goes for my vote for the week 
for Clock Chase of the Week, my vote is Charles Barkley, who's yeah. trying to win some points and get a sandwich, which he doesn't need. He wants a sandwich. Yeah. And he, Clock Chase, that's my vote for Clock Chase of the Week. Who's yours? Charles, you and the fact that we got that video of Lori Harvey, like, if this was a high class apartment complex i don't think they would have actually released the video so i'm mm. almost thinking that she mm. got the video or had someone do it and Ooh. put it out there because Ooh. why would they release that so this, she could sue them for releasing that to the public because not one news outlet showed it it only appeared on instagram Ooh. Hmm. so dang that's Lori, where the news people Lori, got it from Lori harvey check that out so I don't Your know. Your girl JoJo is in, in these streets is saying that yeah, you are the clock down chase. down of a carjacker right. over a fob, a key fob, that I lose. I used to lose every week and could get another one. Okay, let me let me bring up a point about this. You you remember the nonviolent resistance in the civil rights movement? That was the most nonviolent carjacking I've ever seen. Yeah, it was. This is a young girl who is about this big, <laughs> Lori Harvey, and she she throwing them hands. At the carjacker, and she when walked they away. When just went like, bloop, and they, knocked her they, out. They could, they could have breathed on her and knocked her out. Right. And that is, you know, I so did you was able to, from a real jacker, you was right. able to just, like, manhandle so, him with thumbs up, beat her down, beat well, him down, and get, um... That is a good point. And they didn't take the car because they didn't have the keys. Right, so but they just took they drove back and took some bags out the right. trunk. So maybe the clock choice of the week is Lori Harvey because that, that was the most strange looking carjack I've ever seen from a yeah. young girl who weighs about 80 pounds and you got two men, 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 and then you don't get hurt and you walk away calmly. Right. See, if I'm getting carjacked and they got weapons, I'm running, I'm diving, I'm bobbing and weaving. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. My the, uh, bullets move faster than hands. I'm out of there. Yeah. Yeah. Take the car, I'm out. Take the car. I'm out. Take the but Lori Harvey walked away calmly. That yeah. was the most nonviolent carjacking so, I've ever seen. Oh, we got king and queen. So she gets the queen. She's the queen. And Charles Barkley, we got to give it to you. Yeah. Because you did too much. Yeah. You did too much. Big, big, big Chuckster, you are the clown chaser of me. He knew better. Well, he don't know better. He, uh, uh, what Charles Barkley knows is he that he does push the envelope though. No, he doesn't push the envelopes. He pushes. He, he never, what he doesn't do is push sandwiches away from the table. He don't do that. He don't push himself away from the table. And what it is, he also he has a leave Charles he Barkley has a bad about he has game. a bad gambling habit, and you need to stop gambling because it makes oh. you go out in public and make ridiculous statements like you did, saying uh, defending Gail King's statement, and then when you, so you trying to eat a sandwich. You and trying then to get D.L. Hewley jumped on the bandwagon too. What did he say? He said that um, he doesn't think that it was bad to ask the questions. Well, they all no, said the questions should be asked. No, the question should be asked. I just said that Gail King did her job. But not right now. She could have asked it later. She could have asked it later, or she could have acted in a different way. After the funeral, at least. Or if she did raise the question when she said uh, he has a complicated history, and then when Lisa Leslie said. In her own way, when she said, I, that's not the man that I knew, she should have left it alone. But then yeah. she said, she tried to invalidate it and said, well, you wouldn't know. Yeah, would you know, Lisa? Right. Well, you wouldn't know, Lisa. Because he was your friend. See, that was got her in trouble. Not yeah, the fact that, that was she, personal. That, that not, the personal. Fact, not the fact that she asked the question, but the right. fact that she kept digging and tried to invalidate Lisa Leslie's honest answer. Yeah. And saying almost as I have to say, no, you wouldn't know. But then why'd you ask the question? That's what got her in trouble. Yeah. So, yes, I'm in, I'm in agreement with D.L. Hughley. I'm in agreement that Gail King did her job by raising the issue because it was in the back of everybody's mind. When Kobe died and they were talking about his legacy, it was still in the back of everybody's mind that he was a great, was like, uh? that he was a great basketball player legacy, and uh? he had this complicated history because he did have an incident in Colorado but for which he was exonerated. So it's not wrong to bring up in a person's entire history. The problem people had was that you were digging too hard digging. to try to come up with some juice or some tea from Lisa Leslie that you could win another Emmy from. She tried to hit a home run and she struck out. She struck out. Gail King struck out. I hope she's at the Image Awards um, talking Who? about it on the carpet. Who? Yeah. No, she ain't coming on that she's red carpet. Gonna be on Gail the King is not going to any <laughs> black themed uh, anything. That's not who Gail King is. <laughs> No, no, no. Okay, what, what she will do, what she will do, she will kiss Harvey Weinstein, but she's not <laughs> going to be found at any black-themed event. Not Gail King. That's not her M.O. That's not who she is. 
So get her a picture of uh, Harvey Weinstein and she will sleep with Harvey Weinstein. <laughs> so we have a winner, you guys. Tune in next week. Shout out to Currency Formula. Hey, you guys. Um, I'm going to play the commercial that they had. Well, actually, Terry made it a commercial. The one about his 200 credit score. I'm going to make that into a little promo. I thing. am balling. <laughs> he is balling because he's able to finance a tennis ball. Right. And we will see you in L.A. <coughs> next week at the NAACP Image Awards. I'm going to try to get Terry out there. Because the ABFF Awards are that Sunday. So maybe we could get rolling out to send Terry out there to L.A. Well, how about your boy? Because we need to be in some sunshine. Look at him coughing. If I swear I'm sick tomorrow. Yeah, and, and I not, swear. Not, and not only that, and not only that, I need to get out there and get me some sun because as y'all can see, I'm getting a little bit too light-skinned today. Oh, my God. And so I need a tan. Cut the tape. You know tape. what I'm saying? Cut and, the tape. Oh, uh, okay. Cut, cut the tape. tape. Cut the tape. Oh. On that note. Well, well, I mean, He's doing seriously. anything for clout. No, no, He's I'm doing not doing anything no, for I, no, 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 I ain't. No, Terry, I ain't. get mad. She Terry, just, get she mad. just hating on, she hating on, she hating on us darkies. She don't like dark people. She don't like dark skinned people. Cause he's body so, shaming. You know what I'm saying? No, I wasn't body shaming Lizzo. First, he body shamed Charles for eating too much. What he do? No. Body shamed Lizzo for her. And, 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 and she, and she's dark shaming me. She don't like dark skinned people. I do like dark skinned. No, she don't. No, she don't. Johnny's daddy both, is both blacker her, than you. Both, both of her kids. Cause I wanted no, to shock you. No, I saw. I, see, I know her kid. Both of her kids are light skinned. It. All her friends are light skinned in it. All of her associates are light skinned in it. She don't My like dark skin. My dad is dark. Skin she don't like dark. I wanted the chocolate baby. It just didn't happen. Yeah, uh, wait a minute. It's not in my genes. Okay, Jonelle is brown, and her her baby daddy is dark. Oh How does she come up with a light skinned baby? Hmm. Things that make you go hmm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's her, that DNA, baby. Oh, it's that DNA. Oh, I don't even know about. Yeah, we don't even want to talk okay, about it. Okay, all right. Right. All see, right. see what I'm talking about? Right, now right. I'm about to be crying. All right. <laughs> but anyway, see get off next week. Get off of, yeah, get off of us darkies <laughs> because we we are human too. We are God's creatures too. All right. See y'all next time on Do Anything Cut for Clout. Tape. Cut to tape. Cut. <laughs>